Hello everyone, I am Manuel and in today's video I'm going to talk about how we can use the shadow moon technique to improve our speaking skills. This is a really useful technique that we can use to improve our speaking skills when we don't have someone to practice with. So we can improve our speaking skills even when we are learning English by, um, by your own. So as I told you in the last video, the shadow moon technique is basically about repeating what you heard from a native speaker. So the main idea, the main idea is that you have to find a material, something that you are interested about, interested about. And you can you have to find the audio material and the script. So you can basically read why you are hearing the person that is speaking. And the main idea is that you have to imitate the intonation and the pronunciation of that speaker. So you will improve your pronunciation and your intonation, you know, the pace, the rhythm of your speaking. Now, um, when we have, uh, when we want to learn, uh, or when we want to improve our speaking skills, there are two things that we have to take into consideration or may better uh, i think that we can improve two things by doing the shadow wind technique um the first uh depending on what you want to learn uh, you will do the shadow wind technique in a different way so for example the first thing that you can learn or you can practice or improve by doing the shadowing technique is, uh, as I told you before, the pronunciation, intonation, pace, and rhythm of your speaking. Uh, second, you can improve, or uh, yes, you can improve your back vocabulary. You can improve your vocabulary, grammar, structure, uh, etc. So, depending on what you want to learn using the shadowing technique, you will do the things more or less different in a different way first if you want to improve your intonation your pronunciation um rhythm pace or intonation when you are doing the shadow technique you find your audio material your script and start to repeat uh, what you hear imitating the pronunciation the intonation etc here the important thing is that if you find maybe a word or a phrase that you cannot understand you will not pay attention to the to the meaning of this word maybe you can guess the meaning using the context or something like that but in general since you are trying to improve yours just your speaking skills in matters of pronunciation read on so and so on you will not pay attention to the meaning of the word you will concentrate all your efforts just in the these skills that i just mentioned to you uh, pronunciation intonation etc so when you are reading out loud basically you are not paying you are not paying attention to the meaning of the words or maybe um the meaning of maybe a sentence or a structure or something that you cannot recognize at the moment so when you are concentrated in this part you don't pay attention to these details because it's supposed that you want to prove just to speaking part your pronunciation or intonation so you can practice the shadow wind technique uh, using this technique using this approach and not pay attention to these details of course this is because we are trying to uh, become this exercise into a speaking exercise, a pronunciation exercise. Um, I am telling you this because if you are using books or posts, probably you will find words or sentences, maybe some structures that are um, unknown for you. So the idea, uh, the whole idea of this is that you improve just one skill um, uh, using the, the you practice uh, your your session of practice your practice session. So 
when you decide the you decide the uh, you want to improve your pronunciation and you do this you find your audio material your script and repeat what you hear trying to imitate imitating the pronunciation the intonation uh, rhythm etc so this is the first way so you can do uh, the shadow wing technique just uh, maintaining the pronunciation and the rhythm and the rhythm of the speaker now let's say that you want to use the shadow wing technique to improve or to increase your vocabulary range you 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 want to acquire more words you want to know more words and understand the meaning of maybe some grammatical grammar uh, grammar structures so in this case the approach will be uh, sorry the approach would be uh, a bit different in this case you will pay attention to the unknown words and maybe new structures and things like that because you're trying to use the shadow wing technique to improve uh, your vocabulary acquisition so in this case uh, you will pay more attention to the meaning of the words the the way that the sentences are built um so yes this is the second approach in this scenario i will suggest that when you are looking for your material to practice um you uh, probably you it, it wouldn't be convenient that you learn a lot of new words in uh in in, in just one ses in session because that could be maybe um overwhelming maybe boring you will not enjoy the session so my suggestion for you if you want to prove your vocabulary by using the challenging technique is that you uh, make first uh, review of your content let's say that you have uh, you want to read i don't know four pages of one audiobook one page so you review these four pages and you check the new words that these pages um, have uh, if there are more than 20 percent the total words there are more than 20 percent of unknown words i will suggest that you find you, you i will suggest you the find another material because probably this is too advanced for you and you will have to start more frequently oh this is a new word it's a new word so you will not enjoy the session and probably it would be a stressful session so what i would suggest is that you find a material with less than 20 percent of known words uh, so for example if we have to put in context if we have a text uh, of 100 words if less than 20 words are known for you that's fine you can learn those words uh, probably 20 percent is too much now what i am thinking i will suggest maybe 10 percent just 10 percent of known words so you keep with this material and trying to learn these new words these new phrases that you don't understand and review the meaning of these words uh, you're focusing your you you're, you concentrate your efforts in understanding the meaning of the words and of course, since since it is a shadowing technique, a shadowing exercise, you will learn the the pronunciation as well. So basically, um, these are the two things that you can learn by doing the shadowing technique. Or you can practice the shadowing technique. First, your pronunciation and intonation, rhythm or pace. Uh, you don't pay attention to the meaning of the words you do you just concentrate you put your uh, maximum effort in imitating uh, the native speaker so this is a pronunciation exercise basically uh, in this case you don't pay attention to uh, the meaning of the of maybe unknown words that will appear in your text of course uh, i will suggest the uh, uh this content uh, don't have many uh, doesn't have many unknown words 
because you know at the end is something that you want to enjoy you want to enjoy your reading session uh, if you have maybe too much on words uh, that will be stressful or that you don't you are not getting the main idea of the content um, probably you will not feel that you are improving or you feel or you will feel that you are wasting your time etc but in essence you don't pay attention to unknown words you can guess uh, the mean the meaning of it. these words by context by using the context or something like that the second approach will be uh, all the opposite <laughs> on using uh, the shadowing technique to improve your vocabulary so in this case you will pay more attention to the mean the meaning of words and how they are uh, they are used in in the sentence or in the phrase so in this scenario you will pay more attention to the meaning um, will have more pauses probably because you need to look for the meaning of these words maybe using a dictionary or something like that and uh, uh, with this uh, you will improve your vocabulary you will learn new words um, so basically that's all that I have to say for now uh, these are the two approaches that I have used to learn or to practice my speaking skills or improve my English and I think that they are good uh, ways to learn the language uh, using free material the, you don't need to pay for uh, English material because you can find audio books for free um, the PDF you can also download the PDF from free uh, for free sorry um, so this is something that you can use to improve your English skills in general because you are acquiring grammar structures new words and the pronunciation improving your pronunciation and your uh, intonation rhythm etc the important thing about the shadow technique is that you are trying to imitate the an expert the native speaker uh, so you can use this technique to improve your English, uh, your overall English by yourself. So that's all. Um, have a great day, afternoon or evening. Um, maybe, it, uh, maybe it's night. <laughs> bye bye. See you bye.